Welcome, in this video, I wanna talk about how to calculate your profits. And in the example, we're gonna use the ETF XRT strangle that we put on. So this was a live trade. And I wanna walk you through from beginning to end because a lot of people have a hard time kind of figuring out what their overall profit is after you've had to make several rolls and adjustments. So hopefully this will help out. So let's walk through this first off on, on December, uh, excuse me, February 22nd on this date here. So I've marked them with the shaded ovals. Uh, on the 22nd, we sold a strangle. Okay, IV was nice and high above that 50 level. It subsequently jumped up even further, spiked up, had a big move down and it continued to move down and kept going and going. And at this point on 321, so almost a month later, uh, the price breached our uh, downside break even. So it, it breached our call strike and that's our trigger to make an adjustment, okay? So what we did is we rolled our calls down. Okay, that's the mechanical thing to do. If it tests our put side, we're gonna roll the untested side down. So we rolled the calls down and then price reversed and moved up on us and then moved back down and on this date here, we adjusted again. We we're getting uh, closer to expiration, so we wanted to roll that to the next cycle, so we rolled out. And then price continued to move higher, and on this date, we rolled out again. So this was 4.7. On 5.1, we were at a point where we needed to roll out to the next expiration again, so we did that there. And then today, on 5.16, we closed the trade. So we put it on back here on 222, closed it out 516, so almost three months, okay? A lot of times we can be in a trade and make a profit within a number of days or a couple weeks. Uh, in this case, we ended up holding it and rolling and adjusting several times before we got out. So let's go back to the slides and take a look at what all that meant from a profit standpoint. So here's how we break it down. So I copied the exact trade tickets onto the slide here so you can see what our entry was on 222. We sold this for 67 cents. And as you can see here, we sold five contracts. So then on 321, as I mentioned, it moved down so we had to roll down the calls. So we bought back our 47 calls and we rolled those down to the 42. Okay, so now we're holding a 41 put and a 42 call, okay? Then for seven, we made our next adjustment where we, uh, we rolled our uh, spread to the next cycle and we, we kept those strikes the same. So you can see 41, 42, 41, 42. So we bought back the 41, 42s here and we sold them out in May, 42, 41 here, okay? Then when we rolled out to the next month on 5-1, we actually moved up our strike one more time because remember price had moved up on us a little bit. So we bought back the 42 and the 41 and we just sold the 42 in both of them. So we rolled this put from 41 up to 42, collect a little bit more credit. So that ended up giving us a 42 straddle, right? 42 at the call, 42 at the put. Uh, so that technically is a straddle when you, when you have the same strike. And then today, 516, at the time of this recording, we bought back the entire position, all five contracts, the 42 put, 42 call, and for $1.87 debit. Okay, so if we add up these credits, so we've got a 67 cent credit that we initially got for placing the trade. We took in another 36 cent credit when we rolled down the calls. We, when we rolled to the next month, we collected another 91 cent credit. And then we, when we rolled to the next month again, we collected another 89 cent credit, giving us total credits of 283, okay? So, and then we bought back the position for a buck 87, so 283 minus what we paid for it gives us a total profit of 96 cents. Multiply that by 100 because each contract controls 100 shares. So that gives us a profit of $96 per contract times the five contracts gives us a total profit of $480, okay? So the point of this is showing you, A, how to calculate profits, okay? After your rolls and adjustments, you need to add up the credits, and this is on a strangle specifically, 
You need to add up the credits and then you subtract any debits or what you bought it back for. And that will give you your total total profit. And then you have to obviously multiply that times the number of contracts you did and that gives you the dollar amount that you won total on the trade. So that shows you how to calculate it. The other takeaway here is the fact that you've got to stay mechanical. When you need to adjust, make the adjustments. If you don't need to adjust, don't make any adjustments. Just stay mechanical. And, and this is what can happen over time. Your, your, your credits accumulate and they continue to stack up. When you buy it back, you're going to end up with some profit. Now, this is a really good example just because it illustrates that fact of staying mechanical and how you can profit from just making the necessary adjustments, making the necessary rolls. And remember, we initially took in a 67 credit, uh, cent credit and we ended up with a 96 cent profit. So, you know, over 100% of max profit on the trade just by rolling. You know, we could have taken we could have taken the, the trade off at a couple of these other points for a break even or a, or a small profit, but by just rolling and adjusting and collecting more credit, giving yourself more time to be right on the trade, we ended up with a nice $480 profit on the trade with, you know, and this was a pretty small trade. XRT is only a, you know, a 40, 40 some dollar stock doing five contracts, pretty small trade and a $480 profit. So if you look at that from a, on a percentage basis of the amount of capital that you used for the trade, a very significant return. So even though it took us a little longer than usual, we were in this for a few months as opposed to, uh, you know, less than one month, uh, it still paid off. And that just shows you the power of staying mechanical and using the adjustment techniques that we teach. If you'd like to learn more about the different strategies that we use to make consistent returns, come see us at navigationtrading.com. We've got a ton of free resources, including the Navigation Watch List, which is a list of the most profitable symbols to trade for each type of strategy. We've got the Volatility Indicator, which you've seen on my charts. You can download this directly to your Thinkorswim trading platform. And we've got a free options course called Trading Options for Income, which is a step-by-step -step guide to get you making consistent trades right away. We look forward to seeing you there.